let's do something really special for Mother's Day this year for your mom or your daughter. Let's create a wire beaded bonsai tree, two side by side on your favorite base. Let's get started. You'll have your 30 wire all pre-cut and you're ready to start making your stems for your branches. Now I mix my beads up because they're going to be mixed on the tree anyway. So this is just a little bit easier than going back and forth with white and pink. That ends not very. You want 15 beads on each strand of wire. And if you want to just mix them up completely, that's fine. Doesn't matter if you have two whites together or two pink. Just have 15 beads on each strand. Okay. Be sure to meet your wire at the end. And pull all the beads down at the middle. You're going to have five up top here. And you should have five on each side afterwards. And I have six on the one side. No big deal. Just go ahead and remove that one. Don't really have to, but I'm kind of OCD that way. Okay. Twist the ones in the middle five times. that's clear or not okay and next the other side push them up slightly bend your wire to meet the first that you did and you're going to gently twist that should do it spread those wires apart with your index finger it just makes it easier and twist it three times and the last set same thing Bend your wire to meet right there at the edge. And twist. And then twist the end of it five times. And your wire should meet pretty much at the ends without a problem. Go ahead and repeat this process for a total of 30 times for your 30 wire. And when you're done, I'll meet you back here. Now it's time to make the branches. You should have 30 of these. You're going to grab three, spread the wire apart, place it on your index finger. finger should have control of your wire pretty much. Grab the wire right at the edge there. Gently pull up 
and begin to twist. Two, three, four, and five. Repeat this process until you have 10 sets of these three. Okay, I bet your fingers are sore too. You're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, for the mom tree, and one, two, three, and four for the daughter tree. I will have in the description below everything that you need. Everything that was purchased this time at Michael's Craft Store, including the base, which you can find where your seashells and all your other marble stones are. But the link will be there for you to purchase it. And I usually provide a discount code. Okay, so what we're going to do, so we're going to grab three of those branches and the same process for twisting them. Join all three on your finger and gently pull up as you're twisting. And I'll probably need a craft glove soon because this does get hard on your hands. If you need one, go get it. We're going to twist this once, twice, three times. Then grab two and you're going to twist the same way. Once, twice, three times. Now we're going to put the tree together. I think I'm gonna twist this large piece one more time. So we'll make that four twists, three twists, and no, five times, okay. We'll twist the larger branch six times in. This one will remain five, and this one will remain five. Actually, we'll do that one more. Okay, time to put the tree together. Grab your larger bunch and the second one and hold it together and you're going to twist that. This is going to provide you with your trunk. One and two. This is getting very hard on my hands. And then you're gonna grab the smaller one. You're gonna join this one in. Place it adjacent right at the edge there. Hold it very tight and incorporate that one with the other wires. One. Two. 
don't worry if you smash these beads with your hands while twisting because you're going to manipulate them into the tree after. And twist again. And that looks pretty good. It makes it look natural instead of just a straight line. You don't want that. It doesn't look organic. It doesn't look like a real tree. Okay, we're almost on the base of the roots. And then we're going to do the little sections. Welcome back. We are done with the root system on the mommy tree. And it came out pretty good. This is the tool I used. And you can also just use any needle nose plier. And just twist and go to give it a little bit of a curved look, natural look basically for a root system. We're gonna go ahead and design this once we're done, the daughter tree, which should not take long at all. You should have four of the branches left. So we're gonna gather three of them on your index finger. Grab them right at the bottom and gently twist up. So twist it at one, two, three, four. Because now we're gonna add the last branch. And we're going to add her right on this side. Hold it and twist right at the base. And that's going to make a nice little extra branch. Three and four. Actually, let's do good. Now it's time to design your trees. Your root system is done on both the mother and daughter tree, but you have this big old clump mess, so let's design a tree. This is gonna be beautiful. Just go ahead and separate the branches. And this looks like it's going to be the main one, the tall one. Let's see how it's gonna go. As I had told you before, the wire a lot of times tells you where it wants to go. So just start spreading them out carefully. I'll start with my fingers at first just to get them apart and to really design it. I always trust this. You can bend them any way that you need to. Oh, I think this is going to be one of my favorites. Okay, where were you at? You were over here. Yeah, I like this. I'll show you what I came up with for both of them. Don't be afraid to manipulate. Don't manipulate too much because you don't want to snap your wires off. But let's continue and we'll see what we come up with. So this is what the trees will look like on the base after you lay them down. Dot your E6000. Some good drops there at the base of the trees to get them to stay solid. And little drops right at the edges. And maybe a couple in the middle. E6000 is very sturdy and the trees will not go anywhere. Leave that sit overnight. Wrapped in rubber band to keep them in place. And let's see what it looks like when it's finished.